I think the big test to say yes or no to a film, but especially if it's a comedy, is if it touches you, if it makes you laugh, and the script for What About My Father did both <laughs> on the first reading. Well, um, she's a, the character Tigger that I play, she's a senator. And she's a senator of her generation. So she's had to, as a woman, fight her way to the top. And I think that as good a mother as she wishes and thinks she is sometimes, I think that her family has played second fiddle to her career. So now that she's still working, still vibrant, uh, she's looking at maybe changing that. And within the course of the story, it speeded up her kind of education of allowing people in and accepting more and letting go of control. I mean, I think, I think Tigger's a control freak and she liked things to be put in a very precise box. So when she meets the Robert De Niro character and his son, it's not what she expects or wants for her daughter. But in the end, it's exactly what she should have. Well, I think the person who's most responsible for the atmosphere on any film set is the director. And Laura Terizo was absolutely a master at that. She really cast it so well. And each take that we did, try this, what about that? And we would break each other up because there was a feeling that we wanted to just get the best take, no matter what it took, how embarrassing it could be, or what could go right or wrong. So um, she, she let our strengths shine. She let us improvise. If there was a line that she liked better, or she would say, okay, uh, keep rolling, uh, let's try this line. And she would think about that line as a writer herself, because of what we were doing, and she wanted to add to it and support it. So when you have that kind of leadership, you feel safe as an actor, and you also feel that you can do something which is so important, which is to play. I mean, we got to play and have fun. And I think that's part of um, an experience like this, which shows in the relationships, not just of the characters, but of the actors who play them. I think that good comedies like About My Father are really about family, because we're all connected to some kind of family. It doesn't matter where you live or what nationality or what you like or don't like, you can relate to the challenges and the kind of, I don't know, I, I, I guess it's a belonging. You've been there, you've had that kind of crazy uncle, or that sister who's like, after a couple of drinks is difficult to deal with, or the puzzling uncle, or the sister, or the new baby that's coming, the pregnant, all different stages of life is what you experience within that family unit. And it's used, I mean, Shakespeare, all of his, <laughs> of his great plays are about family. And he has a comedy in it. I'm not saying we're doing Shakespeare. But in its own way, it is the same track of storytelling, which is about the wonderful aspects and the horrific aspects and the challenging aspects of these people you love, adore, and in some places, in some instances, can't stand. <laughs> it's fertile ground, fertile ground for comedy. Well, there's a release of tension when you're laughing with other people. And we've gone through so much in the last two and a half years. And uh, it's gonna take a long time to get back to where we were. But there's something about the communal activity of people coming together and being told a story. To enjoy that, to release the tension, to take your mind off of what you're going through, the situation that the world is in. and communally be together and exhale.